Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about the upcoming Predator movie, Badlands. If you're a fan of the Predator franchise or just love a good sci-fi thriller, you're in for a treat with this movie, so let's get into this. about Badlands, directed by Dan Trachtenberg, known for his work on 10 Cloverfield Lane and Prey. This movie promises to expand the Predator franchise even further. Elle Fanning is set to star and it adds a fresh face to the franchise. Trachtenberg's involvement though has fans really excited given his success with Prey, which was a massive hit on Hulu and broke numerous viewership records. Let's talk about the key players though. Because Dan Trachtenberg is on board to co-write and direct this movie. And his knack for blending suspense with action makes him a perfect fit for the Predator franchise. Especially considering his work with Prey and movies like 10 Cloverfield Lane. And then there's Elle Fanning, known for her roles in Neon's Demon. And Maleficent. Her casting hints at a strong, possibly complex female lead. Which is really good for this franchise considering how good the last one was. Now... After some plot speculations, while details are still under wraps, I think that this movie is definitely going to have a Predator in it, because it's Predator Badlands. But look at that title though, Badlands. It suggests a kind of harsh remote setting, maybe a huge jungle, maybe a desert. Hell, that'll be awesome. Imagine a cowboy desert Predator movie. That'll be sick. Given his approach in Prey, though, we might expect a narrative that blends survival horror with deep character development. That would be pretty cool as well. So, what are some of my theories for this? Well, one possibility is that this movie will explore a new timeline or location, perhaps diving into historical or future settings. Imagine a story set in the dystopian future where humans have to face predators in a post-apocalyptic world. Maybe while they're running from a Terminator or two, you never know. <laughs> Or perhaps a historical setting where ancient warriors encounter the alien haunters. That could be great. Behind the scenes on the film though is going to be top notch. Like Trachtenberg's hand on approach and Fanning's acting really just make me expect a film that's just not action packed. But also great with the narrative and storytelling. But you know let's move on to some of my theories though because I've got a lot of them. So first up I have the idea of new Predator abilities. Each Predator movie has introduced something new, whether it's a new gun, a new laser thing, a new explosive weapon, or just a new design. I think that it could maybe introduce new technology that we haven't seen before, making the hunt more thrilling. And I'm really hoping that maybe you'll add a new gadget or a hunting technique that they could use in this new Badland setting, because, hell, what are they even going to do with it? <laughs> If it's a cowboy predator movie, I'm all in. If it's just another jungle, I'm kind of like, well, we did that with the last one and the one before that and also the one before that and also the one before that and the one before that. I kind of want something new, which is why I think a cowboy setting would be pretty cool for this if they're going to make it a cowboy predator movie. I'm all in with that. <laughs> another fury is for a potentially expanded universe. With 20th Century Studios all in on expanding the predator franchise, Badlands might connect to other Predator films, or even another crossover with the Alien franchise. Hell, you got Alien Romulus coming out this year. Why not create another crossover? Alien vs Predator 3? Come on, guys. Let's not forget the possibility of human Predator alliances, though. Which, you know, may sound dumb, because they're typically adversaries, but there have been hints in past films of uneasy alliances. This movie might explore a scenario where humans and predators have to team up a great against a greater threat. Xenomorphs. And there's just another great idea which I've just had. What about flashbacks and origin story? This movie could tell them to the backstory of the predators, which we've never got to properly see finished in that trilogy with Prometheus and all of that. Because I, I don't really count those, to be honest. And 
I don't really like them, okay? <laughs> Prometheus just confused me. It didn't really seem like a Predator movie. It seemed more like Star Wars, to be honest. And yeah, that's pretty much all we know about Badlands. It's shaping up to be a must-watch for the Predator franchise. But what are your thoughts on this new installment? Do you have any new theories for it? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more updates on this and other upcoming horror movies. Until next time, bye-bye.